I'm Kathy Bartswick, and uh, I am the president and CEO of the Cooperators Group. I was one of the first women to be hired into income, into you know shoveling copper cars and going down, yeah, going underground. But it was it was tough, and they didn't want women. I mean, there was an environment where I had my shift boss tell me he was going to get me quit. I didn't I didn't quit, and he couldn't fire me because I was doing my job. <laughs> Our organization began back in 1945 when uh, a number of farmers came together in Saskatchewan and identified that they were not getting their needs met. They, uh, they came together and said, well, if no one's going to serve our needs, we'll do it ourselves. And that's how the cooperative formed. Our sustainability journey actually began when we were founded because we focused really intently on equity, cooperative values, uh, ensuring that community support and health was there. And, uh, and I think it developed over time. I was looking around, our world was getting more uh, more unfriendly, uh, scarier, riskier, the climate issues that we were starting to see manifesting themselves. And, and I just on a personal note, I didn't know how to get my head around it. As a cooperative, as an insurer, as an employer, what do we do? What do we do differently? How do we move this organization to be more responsible and contribute to the solution? I mean, there, there's no question. If, if the world is increasingly unhealthy, insurance companies are going to have to pick up the pieces. That's what we do. So we've taken it from two perspectives. The first perspective is to focus on products and services that will change behaviors. And to that end, we have our socially responsible investing offerings. We have, um, you know, encouraging hybrid, use of hybrids and discounts associated with that. Uh, buying endorsements for homes when they're damaged. You're going to do, do the repairs in a more ecologically friendly way. There's also a whole area that we focused on that's really related to adaptation. And on that note, I, uh, I chair the Institute for Catastrophic Loss Reduction because climate is changing and it is affecting our communities. But it's in essence research that we have been conducting in conjunction with the University of Western Ontario where we have this hangar out by the airport. We build homes and we blow them down and we find ways to learn how to build them uh, in a stronger way. How do we ensure that the next time we try to blow it down it doesn't get blown down or the next time we throw water at it, it it's not damaged. And these are real live examples of homes that are going to withstand the weather conditions that are here and are just going to continue to get worse. For a long time we called it our Three Little Pigs project. The insurance industry without question should be the leader when it comes to issues of climate climate change. It's tough for an organization that has these quarterly pressures and, and I understand that. I don't empathize because that's not where my heart's at. I believe in the co-op form of enterprise um, and I believe that a lot of our our problems and our challenges are because we're so short-sighted. Well the world's problems will never be solved with short-sightedness. It's just not going to happen.